I'm here right now with Asking Alexandria. Well, Are you two, guys doing? two of us. Two. Not the entire band. Just... Our drummer's not even here because he missed his fucking flight, so we have to play with our Nipple. drum tech today. It's okay, I'll be your drummer. We can work this out. We don't even know what we're gonna do. I can play a bongo for you guys. Let's play bongos. Yeah, does that go with your sound at all? It's gonna happen. That's already better because James doesn't want to <laughs> play those. Yeah, exactly. Fuck James. Yeah, see? So if anyone wants a job with Arsene Andrew playing drums, now's your time to audition. <laughs> Join now. <laughs> and uh, so you guys were here at Welcome to Rockville. So how's it yep. been going so far? How are you guys enjoying it? Did you say we were up. here at Rockville? We are here. We are here you were now. Here at Welcome to Rockville. Yeah, we are here. All right, stop being a dick for a second. <laughs> Oh, sorry, he likes to be serious. Oh, not really, not really. He's just Well, I mean, we just woke up. Yeah. How's the economy? Yeah. I'm just hungry as fuck. I'm trying to bail. <laughs> I'm kidding. On camera, too. You, you heard see it. see this? I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm sure you are. He's not kidding. No, he's not kidding at all. Um, but it seems like festivals have always been a big part of your career. You guys have played several festivals, including Warp Tour last year, Rockville right now. Um, so why do you think festivals are such a big part of the metal and rock community, and why are they important? Connects a lot of different people. That's the coolest part of about it. There's a lot of people who like well different music and stuff, which is cool. Plus everyone likes pussy, so when you go exactly. to a festival you get drunk and you're almost guaranteed parking lot pussy. There's a lot of that here, a right? A lot of parking lot pussy. <laughs> you guys are doing it right, for sure then. And well, so you, <laughs> well, be fine. You're doing good. And I so, got it in the butthole by accident last time, so I don't know if she would agree with you. But. I mean, I think that might be too much information, if I'm being totally honest. Yes. But I'm sure our audience appreciates it. Anyway, so back on topic here. You guys played Warped Tour last year. We did. So thinking back on that now, what kind of memories come to mind? What are your favorite memories? How some, how some fan was trying to break into a fucking party. Well, party, yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, I yeah, was that like, was what amazing. are you doing? He's like, why are you holding the door closed? You should have just... Because if it does get open, I'm going to throw my feces at your face. You yeah, that would, that would be a thing. They love their fans. That. I do love my fans, but not when you're trying to open the door when I'm trying to take a shit. If I did that True. to them, they would call the cops and that would be some sort of lawsuit. Or they might just ask for an autograph. It depends on who it is. Depends on who it is, you're right. <laughs> and your album, The Black, is out now, so we got to focus on the music a little here. Um, and this album's really different from previous releases. You know, From Death to Destiny was a bit of a turn for you guys as far as sound goes. Um, and it seems like you went back to your roots, yeah? A little yeah, more reckless, a little relentless yeah. kind of thing going. Um, so what made you guys want to switch up your sound with this? One. I mean, just a new vocalist mainly. That's true. You know, someone that actually likes playing what, what we enjoy writing. Yeah. You know, it's just a good collaboration. We pretty much didn't even have any limitations or like an exact idea of what we want to play. It just worked out the way it worked out. I don't know. He was passing me music and stuff. I was like, yeah, dude, that's sick. Let's fucking write some cool shit for it. Yeah. And I actually heard that this album was more collaborative for you guys writing and recording it. Is that right? Um, in terms of Dennis being involved, yeah, because it, normally it would just be mainly me writing and then James would, would chime in, but this time Dennis got involved with a lot of it too, so which is nice, because Danny never wanted to. Yeah. New vocalist, things are happening. Things are happening. Things are happening. This interview is happening. <laughs> right now. And lyrically, it seems like you guys made a bit of an effort to not focus on the situation with Danny. Because even though that was a part of your career, there's well, so much other stuff. The thing is, like, uh, as a new singer, like, why would I write shit about, like, Danny? That would be the, a little The funny awkward, thing is, it? people still read lyrics, like, oh, that's so about Danny. That is, like, there's literally, like, maybe one song that has something, like, maybe one or two songs that, like, slightly have something to do with Danny. Yeah. But, like, the rest is just, I don't know, my personal stuff, his personal stuff. It's just a real album. Like, people just don't want to look into it, like, read into lines, like, better, I guess. Yeah. I guess people are it's just, just so trying much to find easier some drama, to yeah. so... Yeah. People love drama. They do, but not here. No drama here. No like, drama. I mean, I guess if they want these songs to be about Danny, then okay. That works. That works for, if it works for them, it works for me. Yeah, I mean, the lyrics definitely are open to interpretation. Yeah. Um, but what did you guys draw inspiration from? I know you were mentioning personal experience. I had a yeah. really, really aggressive wank one time and my dick got sore for like four days. And I was like, oh yeah. my god, and that was what the black and was you get you about. <laughs> Whoa! You know what? This all makes sense now. It was all bruised and sore. It was a dark period in my life. Well, I'm glad you wrote something that everyone can relate to. Thank you for that. Everyone's had a cheeky bite that's just gone on a bit too long, a bit too aggressive. And you regret it as soon as you're done. You're like, why did I do this to myself? Why is my finger in my bum hole? I'm never going to be able to listen to this album the same way again. And 
so Stand Up and Scream was released back in 2009, yep. and you guys have evolved so much since then. Clearly, new singer, matured sound. So when you listen back to that album now, what is your reaction? What are your thoughts on it? Looking back, I still love it. It's nostalgic. You know, I don't sit at home and listen to it. But when I do hear it, it's... I'm surprised. I thought you would. I only do it when I'm wanking. But um, no, yeah, I love it. I'm so proud of it. It's, it's a good got album. Got I mean, where we are now. Yeah. It's a good album. Like, and music has no like.